Uh, subok po tayo lagi sa ating mga topics, ano? Welcome! This is Angelique and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell beside it to get notified every time I post a new video for you guys. First off, pasensya na kasi medyo pagod yung boses ko. So, I'm gonna try to still be able to communicate with y'all in the best way that I can. But, of course, I couldn't miss out on filming a new Hashtag The AM Radio episode for you. Especially since I've been quite receiving a lot of um, requests regarding this topic. So, as you can see on the title of this video, we are gonna be talking about body confidence. So, without further ado, Start the time, Aziz. I'm not sure if you are going to believe me. Salamin ko pala to. <laughs> Pero, I have my fair share of body confidence issues. I think it actually stemmed from when I was younger. That's when I got so insecure of my body. When you join pageants, every little aspect about you is being judged or scrutinized. That's why my favorite um, part of a pageant has always been the question and answer portion because I believed that I was never sufficient when it comes to or when it came to the outer appearance or specifically my body. I remember joining my first legit pageant when I was 15. It was Campus Girl and the pageant was for students like students for um from high school and college so imagine joining a competition as a high school student and you're faced against college students college girls who are growing to be women and i'm just hitting my puberty stage then so I was so insecure of my body. I was a chubby kid back then. I will insert some photos all throughout the video so that you can see how my body developed. But yeah, I, I didn't want to wear swimsuit then because I was so ashamed or I was so insecure of my body because I was never the skinny, petite girl. I was always the chubby, thick, and... I'm curvy girl, but I never really fully appreciated it before. Since then, I got terrified of wearing swimsuits and I swore to myself that I will soon have the courage to wear two-piece swimsuits. And then come college, I wasn't really minding my intake of food or my body or whatever. So at second year college, I reached my, my biggest. I would say. So at that stage, I was still very much comfortable of my body. I was okay with being a little thicker than I used to be before. And I didn't even think about how I look like. I didn't really scrutinize my body until I had to join another pageant again. I'm not saying that pageants kind of mess up with your self-esteem, but for the instances that I am talking about, they did for me. Um, so I had to join another pageant third year i didn't really really want to join at all because i felt like i wasn't ready and i felt like it it's not for me they had to go to our house five times in order to convince me and that's when i finally blurted out that i was so insecure of my body because again i wasn't really thinking about how my body looked like when i was studying but when they had to mention pageant all of my self-esteem and body confidence issues resurfaced. So I said, I don't want to join because I'm not fit. I don't feel like my body's ready for it. And I just don't feel like I can do it. They convinced me um, by supporting that. Okay, it's okay. Um, if you want to go to the gym, we'll help you go to the gym. And I'm like, okay. Um, just so that you would stop coming to our house in order to convince me. I'll just say yes. Para matapos na lang. Yung ganon. So I went to the gym. I, I, I went on a diet. I kind of lost some weight. 
And I was okay with my body then. Like, I lost sufficient weight. I think I can do with this body. So I went to the competition. And unexpectedly, I won. And I had to go to another pageant, which was Mutyaling Kapampangan. I mean, I was all but honored to represent. But I was like, okay, so I'm gonna face another batch of women. And I don't know how that's gonna work with my body confidence and my self-confidence issues. So, um, I won May. I had to join December. So I settled into um, my junior year a few months. And then, I think by Burr months, either September or October, they wanted me to start working out again. Because my body apparently still wasn't good enough. So I'm like, okay, it's a gay, I'll work out. I was just thinking that uh, this is for me and this is so that I could present myself in the best way that I can. So I worked out, but they wouldn't allow me to work out in Manila while I was studying. So I had to study here, go to my classes, and then go back home to work out and then go back here because I have classes the next day and I did that either every day or every other day. My body did not give up on me but in some sort it got a lot 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 thinner. I mean it's the thinnest that I have been and a lot of my friends got worried about me because I wasn't the thin girl. I wasn't the petite girl. I was always the curvy and thick girl. And then the pageant happened and then it was done. I won the pageant and it did not it did not do any help to my self-esteem or my body confidence issues because I finally reached the skinny legend phase. <laughs> I got thin but I still wasn't happy. So after the pageant, I went back to my old ways. I ate whatever I wanted. And now, uh, here we are. I finally gained enough weight, healthy weight. I mean, I have my days where I wake up and I feel like you don't feel very good. <laughs> hey guys, this is Editing Angelique. As you can see on the video, my energy is quite low because again, um, my voice has been super tired um, during this day. But I just wanted to quickly note on some things that I wasn't able to mention as well when it comes to body confidence. I mean, there will be parts of ourselves that we are not too satisfied or we're not too happy about. Um, for me before, I used to not flaunt or not be happy that I'm quite flat-chested, especially since I've been receiving a lot of comments and jokes about it and even if they're just jokes it could still hurt but it took me a while to appreciate that it's okay for me to be flat chested to have huge and wide hips um, to not have big butt or to not have the things that um, others see as very attractive because again it's not what's seen on the outside that is more attractive to me at least personally why am i adding this to the video because i remember when i uploaded my zaffle haul and i was very confident about trying on my bikinis and all but a lot of comments have been about my body specifically about not having anything to fill up with my bikini or being flat chested but I I just try to ignore them I mean they sting a bit but it's more of how I try to gear my mindset to be instead of letting that push me down I try to show them that it does not make me less of a woman if I don't have those assets as they call it and I'm still proud of flaunting what I have I just wanted to quickly note that because those little things or those aspects are very integral in creating and building the body confidence that we have and I'll be talking more about how we can like have little 
um, routines or little steps or little actions in order to fully come into coming terms of accepting the body that we have. We put ourselves out there, especially as I created that haul to specifically cater to those who are looking for the clothes or looking for um, references on the clothing that we wear, but we become subjected to harsh criticisms, especially from guys who just sexualize us and who just look at us as meat and it diminishes who we are. So they shouldn't be the gauge or the barometer of our self-confidence. It should never be and others shouldn't be our um, measure of how happy and how confident we are with the body that we have. But I've, I've gone a long way from always scrutinizing my body despite being thin to now seeing my body and appreciating its worth. Like what we've talked about on my past the AM radio episodes, particularly the previous one or the episode before this, confidence doesn't happen overnight. The first thing that I want you to remember is that you have to treat her a little kinder what i mean by her you have to treat the person that you see in front of your mirror a little kinder remember the times when you go in front of a mirror and you just hate everything that you see i mean i still have my days but i choose to treat her a little kinder instead of scrutinizing her and faulting her for what you see on the mirror why not try to appreciate the little bits of her that you like i know in the beginning it will feel very forced especially if you don't feel too good about yourself but still continue to tell her good things and to treat her kindly until it becomes a routine and it becomes a part of your system and it comes naturally to you then tell her good things Acknowledge what she's been through and appreciate every little aspect and every little flaw that she has. Before, I used to think of ways or even surgery or even treatments as to how I can remove my stretch marks and my scar. <laughs> if you've been an OG viewer and you've watched my Jollibee mukbang, then you know what scar I'm talking about. But I've learned to appreciate my stretch marks as my tiger stripes, as my battle scars. So after you treat her a little kinder, you have to step out of yourself or step out of your mind and try to see your surroundings or see the people you're surrounded with this time it's all about positive reinforcement so again you always have to choose where to spend your energy on choose to spend your energy on people who uplift you who support you not because they tell you good things but you know they tell you these things out of concern and sincere love as they say you are who your friends are and when i said your surroundings i also mean about the media that we consume so you have to unplug i mean when we go on social media and we see these people who seem to have everything going on for them like they're very fit they're very beautiful it's so easy to you know, fall into the deep hole of comparison. Again, <laughs> comparison is the parasite that consumes us, that's hindering us from seeing our full capacities and our full potentials. And it stunts us from appreciating what we have. Body confidence is not just a physical thing, but more of our mental state and mental capacity as well it also affects how we view things and how we set our minds into viewing ourselves and unplug from those that only diminish the self-confidence that we have been trying to build and once you've unplugged you have to remind yourself that you are more than your body weight 
your worth is not measured by the weight that you have or the numbers that the weighing scale is showing you but your real weight is who you are as a person is what you have on the inside what you have on your mind and what you have on your heart i know it's easy for people to immediately diminish you into someone who's so thin who's so thick and it's so easy to succumb to what they are saying but you are more than just your physical aspects or attributes right bank on your strengths flaunt your skills and your weaknesses treat them as your strength as well because having the courage and being brave enough to acknowledge your weaknesses is a sign of strength divert your attention into what your skills are and what your strengths are then people will acknowledge and appreciate you for that because that's the real measure of who you are and not what you look like and finally love yourself the way you want others to love you sabi ni mama rudeba if you don't love yourself how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else or how in the hell are they gonna love you if you don't love yourself again referencing our first um, tips that is to treat her a little kinder if you don't treat her kinder or if you don't love her then how will you know that you are being loved the way you deserve to be loved i know it's a lot easier said than done but again we can always look back at the four steps or the four tips that I've shared to you in order to help you try and love yourself and treat yourself a little kinder so that you know that when others love you, it's the way you're supposed to be loved and appreciated. But you know, there are some instances where you can relate to other people will comment on the things that you are most insecure about. And it may be coming from a place of love and concern, especially if it's from your relatives or from people who are close to you, but they just don't really gauge the weight of the words that they just said to us. But the only way to do it is to stand up for yourself. Avoid the retaliation. We're not trying to start a fight, but we are trying to fight for how we view ourselves and how we should view ourselves and coming with that there will be people na will appreciate who you are so you also have to learn how to accept appreciation and accept good words i cringe every time they compliment me i don't know how to accept compliments but i just say thank you and treat it as a power-up for your self-confidence, for your body confidence, and for your self-esteem. Again, I want you to remember that you are more than your weight. The real weight is what's inside you. And how your heart is full of love. That's the right way that we are measuring. <laughs> and that's a wrap, you guys. I hope I helped you in my little way. That's how I try to do it. And I hope eh, makatulong naman yun kahit papaana sa inyo. But I'd love to converse with you more. I'd love to chat with you more. So comment down below if there are things that I wasn't able to touch on. And if there are things that you would want me to touch on or to talk about, then just comment them down below. And I would love to have that as my next hashtag the AM radio episode. And that's a wrap, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you. Um, and I hope... Um, I will see you be more confident about who you are because you are loved. This has been Angelique and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!